Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Dev. We are doing a ninth project, Persuade with Power. Main objectives, persuade listeners to adopt your viewpoints or ideas or to take some action. Appeal to the audience's interests. Use logic and emotion to support your position. Avoid using notes. Time is five to seven minutes, and his speech is titled, The Conqueror. Mm -hmm. Conqueror by Toastmaster Rudel. Thank you, Toastmaster Rudel. Please join me in welcoming Toastmaster Rudel for his project number nine. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of heights, darkness, or deep water? Do you fear rejection, love, or death? What are you trying to do with it? Are you trying to challenge your fear or just simply shy away just because you don't want to get hurt? Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests, I have a confession to make. I am afraid of deep water. The origin of this fear happened in a not so distant past called elementary days, when a group of people I called friends threw me in the water. Fast forward, I already now know how to swim, thanks to them. But I have a little problem. Whenever I'm going to the deeper end of the pool, I panic. I can totally lose my coordination, and my breathing can be disoriented. I know I have to do something about it. I want to conquer my fear. As I try to look closely, it's not really the fear of water I am afraid of. It's the fear of drowning. It's the fear that no one will be able to help me when I need it. Insecurity. So I try to focus and believe that I can do it. Try that I can perceive things. Although it was really frustrating and I felt like I was being held up from one leg and being swung like, like a piece of paper, helplessly. So I gradually worked on my skills. I practiced practiced and practiced until I eventually changed everything about fear. My vision about fear already changed. And so when I already changed my thoughts about fear, I reframed it in a positive light. I see it as an opportunity. And one day, I try to boldly contest against my fear. When I participated in the event where one person needs to swim two kilometers across the sea, I was scared to death at that moment, to be honest. But as the saying goes that Fear is lighter in times of danger. It is really true. Because the next thing I found myself swimming across the sea. And to challenge myself even more, it was raining that day. And I felt I was walking on the edge of the knife, the sharper one, of course. As I battled against the waves and the wind. And the moment I landed on the shore, I felt I was beaten up by a dozen Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Herculean task for me, but for me, this victory will never be forgotten. As I try to look back on the things that I have done, I still ask myself, Rodel, 
Are you still afraid of deep water? Are you afraid of drowning? And the answer is yes. I'm still afraid of drowning. I'm still afraid of those things. But there's one important lesson I've learned. That is to act on the fear. To put courage on it at that particular moment. And it made me become a better person. As I try to evaluate my experience, it is not really about fear of anything or fear of something. It's about conquering the fear that you can do it when you only think you can and perceive. But of course, you need to work hard on it. And again, when that moment comes, you need to face it. And to be honest, I believe that you can also do that as well. Let me recollect the things that I did to conquer my own fear. First is to analyze the fear. What is the thing that made me afraid? What is the origin of it? Acknowledge it. Number two is to take control of the fear. Know where you are, know what you want, and know what you need to do. You need to immerse yourself gradually and consider direct confrontation. Third is to change the way you look about fear. Think potential and think that there is always an opportunity in every difficulty. And lastly, put fear a place inside your heart. It's okay to be afraid. After all, fear is an emotion in a basic response mechanism. As Mark Twain said, the famous writer, courage is the resistance to fear. It is the mastery of fear and not the absence of fear. So fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, if there will be a time in your life where you see a person that is so scared to death, but you think you, he wants it and wants to conquer it, give him a pat on the back. But do not say fear nothing. Instead, conquer your fear. Toastmaster of the day.